Hi everyone, just want to do an informal video over here because I was um, doing a little bit of work and then something just came to me because I did have to go on YouTube um, and I stumbled across some YouTube videos and I said, well, I just want to put this out there for those who can benefit, maybe looking to get into cybersecurity and a little confused about what route to take on the learning process. So let me hold... Let me go ahead and get started, and I'll look to improve my light in the future, I promise. Just using uh, some some natural light here. Okay, so um, I want to discuss um, the cybersecurity teaching mentors just in general, and some videos that I've seen that apparently promise six-figure videos. Um excuse me, six-figure salaries in a short period of time where you can go ahead and learn. And I just believe that this is not true. I mean, saying that you can make six figures by taking a 90-day course is just simply not true, okay? That doesn't mean you can't get a job, but to go ahead and start specifying a six-figure income, it's kind of, it's, it's really not right that people are, uh, comprehending this and and joining these courses and with high expectations and then as a result they're just um they're unsatisfied in the end and i think it could turn away some of those people really excited about getting into um the wide variety of opportunities in cybersecurity, and then they get turned off by a um, uh, an incompetent course that's basically a lie so first off it's important to understand why um, to have a cybersecurity mentor, you don't need one. Um, if you're a self learner and you don't need that, that doesn't doesn't mean that you can't excel. Okay, some people just excel through self learning, and that's great. But cybersecurity in general is a complex and ever changing field, and having access to reliable and up to date information is is really essential in staying up in your game. Okay, so I'm just, I made some points earlier and I'm just you know, looking this over here so I can convey this in, in its entirety. So a mentor can provide you with guidance and advice to help you stay ahead of the curve. And of course, make sure that you are prepared for your challenges in the workforce um, however, it is important to be weary of these videos that promise you a six-figure salary in a short period of time. So I just feel that these are very misleading and, you know, don't really take into account the hard work and dedication that, that you need to excel, not only cybersecurity, but everything. So it's just important to understand that. So here's a list of some red flags that I feel you should be aware of when you are seeking a cybersecurity teaching mentor. And just keep in mind, I do not have a course. I'm not recommending someone else's course either. This is purely for you to utilize. And if you see fit, consider, whatever. All right, so lack of credentials or experience, so important. You wanna be sure to look for teaching mentors who have experience and credentials in the field of cybersecurity. Now, this does not mean that a 15-year-old is not competent to do a major hack. That is far from the truth, okay? Um, but in general, in order to be a qualified teacher, you yourself should have credentials and basically have experienced it so you can teach it. Number two, unclear or vague information. So you want to be wary of mentors who provide unclear or some vague information about their um, experience or qualifications. Okay. Um, you know, as I said, there is exceptions where you do not need certifications, but for the most part, part hiring teams are going to ask for some credentials. For example, 
I have the Pentest Plus. I also have the Certified Ethical Hacker Certification. Does this make me a guru? By no means does it make me a guru. I mean, there is more advanced um, uh, pen testing um, certifications out there that I do not have. Does it make me qualified to um, discuss and teach? Absolutely, because for the most part, those are the um, intro to the medium level pen testers. They have those those um, appropriate tests. Now, um, on an, the other end of the spectrum, with the CASP, which is the uh, Certified Advanced uh, Practitioner, that's a, more of cybersecurity engineering, I do hold that certification, which I found to be pretty difficult to attain, but very similar to the CISSP, it's a gamut of, of different um, um, technicalities rolled into one test. So, you know, do the are these helpful? Absolutely. I mean, you're not going to be passing a test if you don't have knowledge on the subject. It's just common sense. So, unclear payment structure. So, for example, you go to a um, mentor's website and they're not really specific on how much a particular course costs, I think that's a big red flag. You know, if they want to know a lot of questions about you before they go ahead and give you a quote on what your fee would be to be a student, I mean, that's really weird. Like, why would fees vary? Okay, are they trying to find out how much money you make so they can accommodate for higher? It just doesn't make sense. So make sure that you understand the payment structure of any associated um, fees before you sign up with a, quote, cybersecurity teacher mentor. So I'm not going to drag this video into other topics. I just wanted to get to the point and kind of be a reminder out there for those. So... Um, is it possible to make six figures in cybersecurity with no experience and no certifications based on nothing more than a cybersecurity course? I mean, I, I don't believe it's possible. Um, it doesn't mean that there's not exceptions, uh, but again, with no experience, you're gonna have very difficult times, especially when they're putting you through the ringer on these uh, cybersecurity interviews, because there's usually two, three, four interviews, um, and there is a process involved. You know, they'll have the introduction uh, individual, and again, I don't want to diverge, but introduction, then they will have technical people that are asking you trick questions. So how are you going to be able to answer this appropriate to get the six-figure job? I mean, you can apply for those jobs, but, you know, it's just not happening for the most part unless you, you know your stuff. So, um, is certifications are often required, another thing, in order to access higher-paying cybersecurity positions. I mean, this is something that... You know, I, I've noticed a lot of those people that are um, saying cybersecurity certifications are not important. Usually they are trying to sell you a course or um, they themselves may not have those certifications. Maybe they're not competent to get them. And as a result, they are preaching that you don't need them. So just keep that in mind. Um, so I do want to just thank everybody out there. I mean, I just threw a few videos up a couple months ago and um, I'm, you know, people are, are subscribing. It's not like the subscription has skyrocketed, but I appreciate each and every one of you out there that does subscribe to this channel. And um, with over 20 years of IT experience and specifically over 10 years um, specifically in the security area, um, I'd like to say I graduated from coding to cybersecurity, and I think a lot more people are doing that as it becomes more specialized. But I would like to think that I can offer um, up more videos that I think, I really truly believe that you can benefit from. Um, so thanks for watching. And uh, I want to mention that if you could please subscribe, it would definitely be more motivating for me to, to make more of these videos. And if you're interested in learning more about cybersecurity, 
um, I can post a few links below in the description. Again, I don't personally have any courses, I'm not recommending, but there's some really good free online um, websites out there that I can recommend. Take care, everybody, and have a good one.